in a sense, like looking through a frosty glass. This is how more and more people are seeing the world. Up close, everything is clear, but move farther away and it all becomes a blur. Rates of myopia or nearsightedness are skyrocketing, and scientists say it appears Canadians are losing their vision younger than ever. So we're seeing children as early as five or six who are becoming myopic, and that's one of the concerns that we have, is the earlier onset than we used to see perhaps 20 years ago. A recent study has found that in children between the ages of 11 and 13, nearly 30% were nearsighted, and some didn't even know it. For 6 to 8-year-olds, it was 6%. Glasses are becoming the norm, but experts insist myopia can have serious consequences, from retinal degeneration and detachment to glaucoma and blindness. It isn't innocuous at all. As soon as you are myopic, your risk of complications associated with that increases. And the higher your prescription, the higher your risk. And the earlier myopia starts and goes undiagnosed, the faster it develops. Genetics play a role, but doctors think it's starting younger because of, you guessed it, all that screen time. And perhaps more importantly, what our screens are replacing. There's a large amount of evidence that shows that spending time outdoors is actually a protective factor against myopia. The study went further, showing that for every extra hour spent outdoors per week, a child's odds of being nearsighted dropped by 14%. Researchers say it may be the bright light, vitamin D, or the effects of sunlight on certain neurotransmitters. Either way, in China, where more than half of children are myopic, they're building glass classrooms. I usually actually just message an email. At home in Toronto, seven-year-old Jacqueline is busy. Her mother says limiting screen time to an hour a day is tough, but she'll try. In terms of my takeaway, when we think of how we budget our family time, I would definitely be more motivated to get outside more. <laughs> Foresight that could help her daughter see well into the future. Love you. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.